If you've heard the two words, Singapore math, you need to listen to this video. I have a massive review on Singapore math coming up. So stay tuned and I'll see you on the other side. guys this is Nikki with that homeschool life if you are new to this channel a big welcome this channel is all about homeschool topics day in the lives vlogs product reviews curriculum reviews <clears throat> so if you would consider subscribing and hitting that like button and that um, notification bell that will tell you every time I, I upload a video I would so appreciate that so let's jump in now for math in the homeschool community you have curriculum that is a perennial favorite with a lot of families no matter their homeschool philosophy and usually it's because it's the curriculum is very well written um, it's easily accessible for the teacher to teach and for the student to understand and grasp and it's um, budget friendly and some other factors that come into play but there is a reason why some curriculum year after year is recommended by lots of moms for math Singapore math also known as primary mathematics is one of them so today I'm going to focus on the two series which is basically second grade um, so let's jump right in now I'm going to flip the can oh y'all um, you would be so proud of me guys I have this whole apparatus this overhead camera rig that I put together so I can do a walk through through all the books the textbooks the workbooks the word problems the intensive practice all of that so you can see what it looks like so you can make a decision whether you think this program might be right for you and your child okay so I'm gonna flip the camera and okay guys we're back so I have in my hand here the primary mathematics 2a home instructor's guide by singapore math okay so you have 2a and 2b singapore math is divided into two semesters if you will the first semester is a the second one is b so for a complete year you, you need both a and b okay so you're gonna sit down and you're gonna say hey how do i figure out what i'm going to teach my child for the year so what you're going to do is turn first page and you're going to go to the scheme of work. Let me zoom in here. The scheme of work is going to tell you all the things that you're going to use in the book, in, in the guidebook here. You'll need the textbook, the workbook, the guide, <clears throat> the guidebook, which is this one, which is this, the home instructor's guide, the extra practice and the test. Two other books that are not listed on here are the, are the challenging word problems and the intensive practice. We actually use those most and less of the extra practice, but I'll discuss that um, later on in the video. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to look at the weeks. You have 18 weeks for the first semester, for the 2A semester. You have week one, two, three, so on and so forth until you get to week 18 okay so each week is spelled out for you so the first thing you're going to do so you'll look at chapter one and it tells you go to your guide one pages one through two so you're in your guidebook which is your home instructor's guide you go to page one and two and it's going to give you a review of what you're going to teach your child it's going to show you how to teach the concepts to your student. It will give you examples of how to teach. It will also include like pitfalls or things to be aware of. It may be common mistakes that children make or common mistakes that teachers might make when they're teaching. And then it will end with materials you will need. Now, once you've done that, you've read that, then you can look at day one. Okay, you're going to do two things. Group objects by tens and ones to count and write two digit numbers so you go to your textbook which is where you will be teaching the lesson to your student and then when your student is done you'll you'll give them the workbook and they'll do the exercise exercises um pages seven through nine and then this is the guidebook it tells you to go read that page to get more information about how to teach that day's 
objective, okay? So what I, do, what I do, I always look at the guide. It says, oh, page three. I go there first. I read through what I'm going to be teaching for that day, for that lesson. Off to the side, it will tell you the textbook page you need to go to, the task, or just the exercises in the textbook, and then they give you the answers, okay? And then it will give you ways to implement that lesson. You see here they have reinforcements, things you can do to reinforce it. And then here they have the workbook and they have the exercises to do with the answers, okay? Okay, that's why you always want to read the guide page first. Now, week one, day one, you turn to the textbook, pages eight through nine, grab your textbook, make sure it's the right textbook for your book, standards in, in our case. I will turn to page eight. Boom, there is our textbook. So look through that before you teach this to your child. Just read through it. And the orange boxes um, are where your child is going to mark their answer. If you don't want your child to mark in the textbook, then just keep um, paper or notebook so they can record their answers. And it said eight and nine. Okay, boom. You read this, you work with this, you know it, and you're ready to work with your student. After you worked with your student, they send you over to the workbook. The little red pencil at the bottom will tell you um, the exercises and the page numbers in the workbook to go to. So everything's pretty like, it holds your hand. You know, right when you finish something, it'll tell you what you need to do next. This one says, okay, well you, you've done with the textbook. Go to the workbook, exercise one, pages seven through nine, which is in your guidebook. Workbook, pages seven to nine. So it just reinforces what you need to do. So you'll grab your workbook, turn to page seven, and have your child work on what they've just learned. Okay, so it's exercise one. That's what it looks like. And it says seven to nine, so you can decide how many of these exercises. Well, it's just one exercise and then it has like different tasks. So it has three pages of work and that's exercise one. And then the next day, you know, you can, you'll probably do exercise two. And that's what a day looks like. That's what it looks like. I love this because it keeps you accountable, the teacher. You can see at a glance what you're going to work on. You can look ahead and see what you're going to work on. And you can map this in your planner, your paper planner or your electronic planner. So you can look at, okay, for this week, I know that I have four days of work to do. And the fifth day is um, extra practice or test. So a lot of times with um, Singapore, you'll have like three to four days of work for that chapter. And then the fourth or fifth day will be extra practice or test. I usually make it challenging word problems or the intensive practice. It's totally up to you. And then you go on to week, week two. You see there are only three days that they list for work. The fourth day, you can write that in like right here if you wanted to. Fourth day, I'm selling this so. I'm giving this to another mom, so let me erase that. So the fourth day, extra practice. The fifth day could be tests or assessments. And then it continues. You've gotten to week three, you'll have your review. And that will be your tests. And they have cumulative tests A and B. So if you're into spiral review, this would um, cover that for you. So you have three weeks of um, lessons, three chapters, and then a review. And then you have an, another unit with um, five weeks and then a review. And then it uh, continues. So 2A has six units, okay? So just real quickly, unit one is numbers to 1,000. Unit two is addition and subtraction. Unit three, length. Unit four, weight. Unit five, multiplication and division. Unit six, multiplication tables of two and three. 
and that's it and then you go into your reviews and then at the back they have um, the answers to the mental math problems and the appendix okay now at the beginning of the book you also have a, a, a section on manipulatives what manipulatives to use and how you can use them you have whiteboard well that's not manipulative you have multi-link cubes base 10 sets place value disc then your place value chart counters and a hundred chart and then you have more over here number cubes number cards so on and so forth meter stick yard stick measuring tape scale balance kilogram gram pound ounce weights and fact cards these are optional but i'm telling you it is worth your while to um have some of these on hand because some of the exercises in the teacher's guide that shows you how to teach this to your child will use those and it's just easy just to to see it and um, and use what's in the book so this is what the teacher's guide looks like okay so let's look at this so at the beginning of a unit they'll do a little brief background on what that unit is about and then they'll tell you the materials that you're going to use in most of those um, lessons and then they go into the teaching activities the reinforcement you know if you have a child that's struggling or if you want to reinforce the concept and then if there's any um, tests or extra practice or anything you need to do it's all right there so this is Singapore is great in that it lays everything out for you okay that is 2a 2a is just like 2b but if you want to see at least just the scheme of work to see what it covers you have unit 7 which is addition and subtraction, multiplication and division, again, and then you have um, money, fractions, that's unit 10, can't tell if I'm in focused, focus, and then unit, unit 11 is time, unit 12, capacity, unit 13, table and graphs, and unit 14 geometry now the back has some cutouts those are tangrams you have some graph paper you can print out make copies of so just things just worksheets to help you with um, your lesson planning fraction circles fraction bars so all of these you can make copies of print out laminate print on different colored paper so you have just extra reinforcement actually these are some reinforcement um, tools you can use and I'll tell you what page you can use that on okay so that is the home instructors guide for primary mathematics the standards edition now okay you have your textbook, which is very colorful.
Singapore map. Oh. Need I say more? <laughs>